In the late 90s, a scrap storyline idea for the now legendary Final Fantasy VII would lead to a legend of its own. 1998's Xenogears was the first game in a new series of JRPGs starting on the PlayStation. Due to complications with Square, the developers set out on their own to continue the series in 2002 with the Xeno Saga games. Finally, in 2010, the developers made the jump to Nintendo consoles with Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii. Although it was widely acclaimed, this game still flew under the radar for a lot of Western gamers. All eyes would be on Xenoblade Chronicles, however, when its protagonist Shulk was revealed as a new challenger in Smash 4. The initial response to Shulk's reveal was a mix of, who's this guy, and you never played Xenoblade? <laughs> but whether they were really feeling it or not, everyone came to know Shulk with his inclusion in Smash, and the Xenoblade Chronicles series has since expanded with help from this exposure. Shulk's character design introduced some never-before-seen mechanics, too. His trademark Monado arts allow him to alter his physical stats, as well as his damage and knockback values. This made him a very deep and technical character in Smash 4, requiring immense dedication from his faithful mains. Even so, Shulk was a lackluster character in competitive Smash, never living up to the potential he was constantly said to have. Smash Ultimate's Shulk is very similar, but with some help from the game's engine, he seems much more viable. Outside of the technical skill needed to master him, Shulk suffered in Smash 4 from a pattern of slow startup on nearly all of his attacks. This made Shulk struggle against fast and aggressive characters, who could stay in his face and throw out attacks before his own would come out. In Ultimate, Shulk still has slow startup, but the universal reduction in landing lag makes his aerial significantly safer to space or even with. The dash mechanics in Ultimate also allow Shulk to more easily move around to get out of tight spots. For character-specific changes, his Monado Arts effects are now more severe, playing a bigger role when they're needed most. Still, Shulk's high learning curve and technical depth is quick to discourage many players from maining the character, especially with simple fighters like Politana and Roy performing so well in the meta. This results in very polarizing opinions of Shulk. His objective strengths alongside results from Komei and Nico lead some top players like Mars to consider him a top 3 character, while others like MKLeo and Tweak only put him in high tier. So, this brings us to our question of the day. Do you think Shulk is high tier or top tier in Smash Ultimate? This is sure to be a tough one, so let us know your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned to find out where we rank Shulk. To learn more about Shulk, you can also check out our detailed tutorials on ProGuides.com. Our site is the only place where you'll find Instapro, a platform that lets you instantly connect with great coaches in the games of your choice. You can also tune into our live streams to play with pros and check out our detailed course programs. So log on to ProGuides.com today. So if this is your first time checking out our higher top series, what we do is break down the pros and cons of the character as well as recognize their results to create the clearest picture of their viability. Shulk is a character with tons of depth. But he has some obvious strengths on the surface too. Even compared to fellow sorties like Cloud and Lucina, Shulk has range. He has some of the highest range on his overall moveset in fact, both horizontally and vertically. This culminates in his fair and nair being amazing for zoning and walling opponents out. Thanks to their low landing lag, Shulk can approach with these moves too, and doesn't even need to space them perfectly as easy as that would be. Having large hitboxes on fair and down air are excellent for edgeguarding as well. Runoff fair is a very dangerous option at any percent and can lead to gimps, and down air has a spike hitbox that stays active for a while. He can even use this move through the stage if going off stage presents risk. Also, Shulk's range makes him an excellent ledge trapper. It's honestly effective enough to just spam falling fair from the right position, but with more skill and matchup knowledge, well, it still might be optimal to just spam Falling Fair, but Shulk can use his range in a myriad of ways to cover multiple ledge options. It wouldn't make sense to go any further without getting into Shulk's trump card, the Monado Arts. Shulk has five Monado Arts to choose from, resulting in six technically different Shulks when you include his vanilla form. Monado Arts don't affect frame data, but they can affect basically everything else about Shulk. While the arts each come with their penalties designed to contrast their strengths, skilled Shulk players will squeeze the most out of them without falling apart in their detriments. So, let's break down their strong points. The Speed Monado art is a popular choice in early percent neutral. As you'd expect, this art boosts Shulk's speed. His ground speed becomes almost as fast as Sonic's, and his air speed gets a nice little boost too. Already, this makes Shulk's neutral unpredictable and unreactable, but it goes one step further. Shulk's jump height is also reduced in speed art, at first,
first, this may sound like a bad thing, but the lower jump height actually allows Shulk to immediately land after swinging a rising aerial, drastically cutting down any window to punish them. It's similar to Peach's float cancelled aerials, and creates a situation where you'll almost be forced to play defensively until the speed art runs out. Since Shulk isn't too fast in general, speed is also a great aid against very quick characters in neutral. It can be just what he needs to open the opponent up and take an early lead. Buster Art is also pretty common at low percents. This one boosts Shulk's damage output. As not the most combo-heavy character, Buster makes each little string far more rewarding. It also opens up new combo routes since it reduces Shulk's knockback output. The damage increase applies to shields too, so Shulk is even safer on shield with Buster, sometimes leading to shield breaks. The impending threat of additional damage can pressure opponents to shield excessively, run away, or anxiously counterattack, all of which a skilled Shulk man will be prepared for. The Smash Monado art drastically increases Shulk's knockback output, making his entire kit deadly. With Smash art, Shulk has a multitude of kill options near the ledge. A smash attack might just KO at 60 or 70, and simple tilter throws will often KO sub 120. Offstage, fair with smash art can be a death sentence at 40 or even 30% depending on the matchup, so this art just basically makes Shulk really scary. Opponents won't want to be anywhere near him, because at higher percents, his throws will be deadly too. There really isn't too much depth to this one, Shulk just gets insanely good at closing out stocks. <laughs> and he isn't exactly weak to begin with. On the contrary, Shulk will swap to Shield Art when he wants to survive. Shield Art makes Shulk take less damage and knockback. This essentially makes Shulk extremely heavy, surviving strong attacks absurdly later than they'd normally kill. The combination of damage and knockback reduction basically guts many characters' combos, allowing Shulk to drop right out and shield or counter hit. Speaking of shield, this Monado art also increases his shield's health, making it more resistant to dangerous shield-breaking attacks. Last but not least, the jump Monado art increases Shulk's air mobility across the board. His airspeed becomes among the fastest in the game, his jump height is significantly higher, and he falls faster too. Like speed art, this makes Shulk really hard to catch in the neutral. He can jump all around or even under the stage, avoiding the opponent and waiting out timers like Joker's Arsene, or for his own arts to refresh. Naturally, a boosted airspeed and jump height makes recovery much easier too. But that's not all. Jump art also increases the distance on Shulk's up special, Air Slash. Having a better recovery makes it easy for Shulk to pursue opponents far off the stage and secure the deepest edge guards. The Monado Arts clearly offers many benefits to Shulk, allowing him to adjust to the needs of changing situations in different matchups. The Monado Art swapping mechanic also unlocks some very advanced character-specific techniques as well, though. Most notably, his Monado Art landing lag cancel and dial storage techniques can be used to reduce landing lag on aerials, gain intangibility frames, and swap Monado Arts much faster. Although techniques like these offer great benefits to Shulk, their difficulty is one of his prominent weaknesses. These techniques are far more advanced than basic tricks like Reverse Aerial Rush, so Shulk players will need to put in extensive practice time to master them. Even then, completely optimized implementation of these techniques is arguably impractical for humans. Even just switching to the right Monado art on a moment's notice is something almost no other character has to ever worry about, and these more advanced aspects are basically required to give Shulk a chance against Ultimate's top tiers. Otherwise, Shulk still struggles with fast characters who can overwhelm him and beat out his slow startup. This leads him to rely on shield art tricks to break combos and jump art tricks to escape disadvantage, both which have their inherent weaknesses and cannot be used again for a short time. Shulk will also struggle against strong edgeguarding characters. His air slash won't immediately snap to the ledge without jump art activated, making him extra vulnerable to two-framing strategies and counter edgeguards. Additionally, Shulk relies on his Monado arts to unlock his greatest attributes, but each art locks Shulk into a more obvious strategy, making the counterplay straightforward at times. Looking at results, Shulk isn't the most represented character at top level, but his best mains, Komei and Nico, both have performed well. Komei has wins on Japan's best players and has also placed top 3 at many major tournaments, and Nico has many impressive placings and wins in the US. Ultimately, Shulk is a very capable character, but he still has some clear weaknesses that can be exploited, and requires a great deal of technical ability to perform at a top level. Furthermore, his nuances and lack of representation may allow him to catch more players unprepared for the matchup. Like in Smash 4, he has a looming potential, and it seems more likely that he could reach it in Ultimate. But for now, we think that Shulk is a high-tier character.
How do you feel about the Monado boy? Let us know and make sure to comment who you'd like to see us rank next. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to ProGuys and click that bell. We'll see you in the next upload.